Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Thank you so much for tuning in and happy Monday. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live from Frederick, Colorado. And as usual, I'm pretty darn excited. Another RV that I absolutely love. Uh, Jody, please go ahead, take her on back. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Trans West, we do have five RV videos a week. Uh, and we also have five truck videos a week and five horse trailer videos a week. So lots and lots of in information for you as a consumer. Uh, but one of my favorite products to uh, do reviews on is this particular coach. So this is a really nice example of a great RV for those of you that are looking for a segment that really doesn't exist in any other format. So uh, this is a Super C, it's a 40 foot VRB. Uh, today we're looking at the 2024, which has got the new M2 uh, 106 Plus chassis. We'll talk about some of those advantages and upgrades that we have. Uh, but what's nice about this unit is it's got a 20,000 pound towing capacity and it's a bath and a half model. So lots of really cool features. And then on top of it, it's also a no propane all electric coach with 150 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray water, and 75 gallons of black water. Now, what makes this coach so unique in the marketplace is in 2024, uh, Freightliner came out with an M2 106 plus chassis. So they took a lot of those things that we had used before, the Wabco uh, trailering package where you could set your you know, adaptive cruise control to follow somebody, uh, the mobile eye, all of those things, and they integrated them into what's called a Detroit Assurance package. Now, that Detroit Assurance package is uh, actually... Um, it's configured by Wabco. So Wabco has actually gone in with Freightliner to help design the system, but now it's all integrated. So we've got an even more seamless coach. Uh, now starting in the back here, we'll see in this half or this bathroom in the rear, we have an all new shower surround. So this fiberglass shower surround is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is a new design for Renegade. They've come out with it in the last year. Uh, as you can see, it's just absolutely stunning. Um, a little less, uh, we used to have kind of like this oatmeal -y kind of color, so this nice bright white. Um, another great feature is we've moved the control for the water from down below where you would hit on your back when you were sitting on this shelf to up high. And then also it turns on this way as opposed to having an on and off, so it won't go off if you bump into it accidentally. Now we do have this really nice uh, shower head on a slide which is great, gives you lots of flexibility, a soap dish up here as well. But again, when you sit down here, it used to be that we had this faucet right here in the center. And so when you wanted to wash your feet or shave your legs, you might pump into it and you know get a bruise on your back or just be uncomfortable in general. Uh, so really nice advantage that we've changed that. Um, another great feature of this is that it does have a magnetic shut. So this is gonna keep all that nice warm air inside while you're showering. Um, I, I assure you, it makes a huge difference in keeping warm. And then if you look over here at the other half of this bathroom, you can see we've got a lot of knee room, a ton of storage over there on the right. Uh, we also have, with this really nice toilet system, not only a porcelain potty, but also a full flush and a half flush. So for those of you that are looking to boondock, 75 gallons of gray water is not a lot of gray water. Uh, 75 gallons of black water is a ton of black water. Um, so if you're doing an eco flush with your black water tank and you can run your gray water out into a nearby drain, you can actually stay out camping a lot longer in this coach. Uh, now you'll see so much cabinet space up here. Uh, this is the Cape Cod cabinetry. These are solid maple cabinets. You also have a nice polished surface countertop. I love the fact that there is no rim over here in the sink, so there's nothing for any kind of gunk to get stuck underneath. And also a very single faucet, or very simple single faucet, giving you a much easier to clean surface. And then a huge medicine cabinet. Now, when I say that this coach is really unique in the marketplace, the reason it is is because this RV is one of the few RVs that you can get at this price point where you are fully electric, but you're also not completely embedded like the LE in tile and central vac. So you've got this really fantastic laminate flooring. Now, 
I know a lot of people will say, oh, I don't know, tile would be nice. But if you drop anything on tile, you've got to repair it. But then on top of it, you also have a much heavier weight affiliated with tile. So this is a nice lightweight flooring. Uh, as you can see here underneath, they're able to bring it all the way through into the uh, storage area here. So you've got a nice, easy to clean area. Once again, place for your toilet paper. And then over here, you'll note that we have this vent system. So as we were talking about earlier, this is an all electric coach with hydronic heat. So not only do you have uh, and heat pumps overhead, you also have, instead of a furnace, you have a hydronic heating system. And what that's doing is it's taking your Aqua Hot 250D, it's heating that up with a tankless hot water heater, which also gives you tankless hot water for your shower. It's taking that reservoir of coolant and it's running it under the coach and then it's pushing air over that hot coil of water. And that is coming out in these vents that you see underneath here, giving you a nice quiet form of heat. So not only do you have two 15,000 BTU air conditioners on top of this unit, you also have hydronic heat. So a great way to keep your coach warm. And this is very much an all season coach because not only do you have your one zone in the front, your rear zone uh, in the back of the coach where you can run your aqua hot system or your heat pumps, but you also have a thermostatically controlled water bay. That's a really nice feature uh, so that you can actually take your coach out into the cooler temperatures. And we have some really cool snowmobiling trailers. You can catch those in one of our trailer videos, but we get a lot of clients that have a Renegade Verona that want to run a snowmobile. Now you'll note one of the things we also changed is we added a whole new bank of drawers. So now the, you will have your cabinets, your wardrobe cabinets on the right and the left side, but you have this huge bank of drawers um, on both sides of your dresser. So tons of storage space. And of course, the nicest thing about having so many drawers is that you can have multiple people in this coach. And since this coach does have the bunk over cab, if you've got kids with you, you can assign them the two bottom drawers. And then of course you get the left side, your husband could have the right side. And then you have this other huge bank of drawers here in the center. And this is a great place to keep things like your flip flops, uh, your tennis shoes. If you wanna keep these underneath here so they're not uh, out in the middle of the floor, it's a great location. And then, uh oh, there we go. Um, as you can see here, we also have another great place to keep those bigger bulky hiking boots, things along those lines. And then we also have a pre-wire here for our HDMI and our cable. Uh, and of course, you'll note that we don't have a DVD player in here any longer. Renegade was really the, the last uh, manufacturer to jump off of the DVD train. And the reason that is, is because we have this nice Samsung smart TV. So with these smart TVs, you can really just watch Hulu, Netflix. If you want to get a DVD player, you're more than welcome to. If you want to use it just to play Xbox in the back, you can do that too. Uh, now we talked about being all, uh, all season. Uh, one of the things that makes this coach so all season is the fact that your water is actually underneath here in the middle of the coach. So this is under your bed. These are two 75 gallon uh, tanks. As you can see down here, very easy access for winterization. So we can do that for you as well. Um, but this is a great feature, this coach. You don't have as much to try to keep warm because of course your coach has all of the water inside. Now up top above your bed headboard, you do have two 110 outlets. You also have these really nice reading lights and you can aim these so they can just change direction depending on you know where you're sitting and what you're looking at at night. Um, we've got a beautiful tufted headboard here. The, this is the Tuscany interior with the Cape Cod maple finish. Uh, you'll also note that we have really nice little side tables here. Very simple, but very effective. I know that in some of those higher end coaches, you'll see like a little circle here where they're touchless charging. Well, all you gotta do is knock that thing while you're sleeping and all of a sudden you wake up with a dead phone. Here you've got a type C outlet, you've got a, a USB outlet and two 110 ports right next to this little, uh, this little side plate. And what's cool about this is this is high enough now that it's not next to where your arm is going to be. So if you do have, for instance, like a bottle of water and your phone up here, it's not something that's gonna get knocked over at night. You also have your really nice both day and night shades. And I love the way they've done this kind of oatmeal-y uh, finish. Uh, this is a great day and night shade. And all of these uh, little windows also open with screens so you have cross ventilation in the cab of this coach. Now you'll note back here, we also have a touch panel. Oh, I just turned the water pump on, shoot. <laughs> I just was trying to touch the touch panel. Uh, you've got a touch panel here where you can control all of your lights. So you can control all of your lights on and off here. 
Uh, you can get very specific and turn specific ones on and off. You also have, you know, like you tell that my generator's running, it says so right there. I can set up my auto gen start. I can look at my power flow. I can uh, turn my fans on and off here, uh, as well as control my front, rear, and my bay controls uh, here as well. I can operate my slides. I can operate my window shade and my awnings from here. And then I can also go through and actually get through into diagnostics and look at different aspects of the coach. Uh, but what's cool about this feature or about this system is not only can you do this here inside your coach, lost my cell phone. Um, I was going to show you on my cell phone. You actually have an app where you can do it all on your phone as well. Uh, when we get to the front, I'll show you how that works. Uh, it's on the table up front. Jody says, thank God for Jody, you guys. I don't know what we do without him. I, I just want to show this to you uh, one last time. I don't know if you noticed this, but when I opened that cabinet, the light turned on. And when I closed the cabinet, the light turns off. So just a cool little feature. Another bank of drawers. Uh, these cabin, or these uh, cabin doors here are really, really, really solid. So what's nice about the way that this Renegade is designed is you've got this nice heavy duty pocket door and they split giving you the best access. And then instead of having something complicated to keep them open and closed, there's just little, sn little snaps. And you'll notice also that with your Splendid stackable washer and dryer, the doors open all the way. So you can actually do your laundry while you're going down the road and put everything on the bed until you get to where you're going. And then of course you would be able to access your, uh, your drawers. Now you would not be able to access the drawers in this coach uh, before uh, you got to your destination because that bed would, would actually go ahead and slide into the position block in the drawers. Uh, that being said, this is the amount of walking room you have here. This is a ton of room. So this is as narrow as your cavity is going to get. Uh, this is a two slide coach. If you'd like to get a third slide, so you've got a little more room up here in the living area, then you would look at a Verona LE. Uh, but right here, you'll see we have access to the bathroom. And what's so nice about this access to the bathroom is that's a really big doorway uh, for a coach when you're going down the road. So if you'd like to have access to get into the center bath, um, as you can see, plenty of room here. And this is a stool room, but this is a really nice amount of space. So for anybody who is actually going to be full time or camping maybe a little bit longer during, uh, during the camp season, this coach is gonna give you a very comfortable place to get up and get ready in the morning. And as you can see, there's a ton of storage in here uh, for all of your uh, hair dryers. As you know, they're kind of that triangular shape, your flat irons. You also have your two 110 outlets here. Again, that really nice seamless uh, hard surface countertop with again, a nice clean e or easy to clean uh, faucet. And then a ton of storage underneath here, as well as above the toilet. So this is a great place to keep your TP and your treatment for your, um, for your uh, black tanks. And as you can see, you've got a really nice porcelain potty. Uh, and again, one of the things I like to talk about is knee room. So this is a great place for a big dude um, or for a small chick. I mean, go either way, right? Uh, but no, lots and lots of room. And then you do have a fantastic fan up above so we can keep, a, keep nice, fresh accommodations in the coach. Now, as we come up here, one of my favorite things about this VRB is going to be uh, not only the way that they've shaped that bathroom, but the way they've shaped this living room. So for those of you that wanna be able to lay down on the couch, uh, take a nap, watch a nice movie, uh, you can do that. You've got your sound bar right here. And then up above, you've got a great place for a dry bar. You can get all of your stuff up there. Uh, you know, definitely some Johnny Walker, whatever it is uh, that you like to keep up top. Um, and then down below, great storage place for all of your coffee mugs, any of your tumblers, beer steins. I just think that this is such a cool use of space. Now, keep in mind, this does have an optional electric fireplace. So for those of you that are going to be colder climate camping, uh, we could very easily install a fireplace in this area. You would just use that, lose that storage and we would much rather give you the opportunity for the storage as the fireplace is much easier to install than the cabinetry. Uh, so that's very much a, an open area. Now you'll note that one of the things that Renegade's done that's so nice here is they put all of your fuse panels and breaker boxes here in the center of the coach. So really easy map. You've got all of your, your Renegade contacts. You've got a map for all of your fuses, all of your breakers. And then up above here, 
For those of you who've gone camping before and really wanted to have a place to put your toaster oven and your coffee pot and your coffee maker, rice cooker, all of those things, these are adjustable shelves so you can change the height of them. Again, all solid maple cabinetry, lots of room for some of those bigger items. And as you can see here, you've got this beautiful light colored finish. And what I like about this is it's not a white. It's not trying to be white. It's not really a gray either. Um, it's got a little bit of a rose tint to it. So what's nice about this is it's not one of those trendy colors. This is a very nice light interior, but it's still contrasting. So as you can see this with this beautiful Tuscany interior, the darker couches, and then this lighter wood, this beautiful wallpaper, just a really elegant coach. And then of course we have all of this storage overhead. Now this is a great place to keep those shoe boxes and you just get a label maker and you just put them in alphabetically. There's so much organization available in this coach. You can really get everything in here. If you've got F for flashlights, B for batteries, maybe R for remotes, however you decide you wanna do it, you can really easily organize all of your storage up here. And what's nice about the way Renegade does things is it's all very uniform and it's just not complicated. So you can get the same size container uh, for all of your totes. Okay, so. Let's take a look at this trifold sofa. One of the favorite things I have is I love cushions that are connected. They're so much easier to sew. Um, oh, speaking of sewing, what a great place to keep all of your blankets and your remotes. Or if you wanna have your drinks, you could put it on here. You could have your nice little, uh, nice little table. Uh, ask me why they only gave us one ottoman. I don't know. Like two years ago, they started doing one ottoman only. Yes, I can get you another ottoman if you decide you want a second one. I certainly would. Um, I have two in my uh, superstar. Okay, so I love this bed. It's so easy to use. Just pop it down. You'll notice that where is the memory foam? It's right where your hip goes, right? So, so comfortable. And this is a huge, huge bed. So tons of room here. Oops. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you could have three people. That'd be weird, but you could. Uh, also, if you look back here, we've got three seat belts. So three lap belts here. We also have them in the booth. Uh, this coach could really have, I hate to say it, but a lot of people. So you could fit at least two adults here. Uh, you could probably put another kid up top put another kid there, another two in the back. I mean, you could have six to eight people sleeping in this coach really comfortably, um, or you could just not show anybody this video and tell them it only sleeps two. <laughs> However you decide you wanna do it, but look at how easy this is to put away. So I just lift it up, fold it in, fold in the base, drop it down, and I'm all stowed, and again, those great cushions that are connected make it so easy uh, to set up and to uh, take down. Now keep in mind, you don't need to do this because this coach does have the optional bunk over cab. Um, so when I talk about the optional bunk over cab, what that means is up here above the cab, uh, I know I mentioned earlier that you could close your shade uh, with your remote, but you could also use this button. But this is such a nice area. So there's an Insignia TV here. There's also a lot of room here. And I wanna show this to you. So if you take a look at this material, if you decided that you wanted to have totes up here instead of humans, this would be a great place for interior storage. I talk to people all the time. You know, um, bays can be thermostatically heated, but if they're not cooled, you know, things like your marshmallows, your chocolate for your s'mores, whatever, that can get really hot outside. So anything you wanna keep inside, it's so nice to have this bunk over cab area. So if you're not gonna have people here, you can use it for storage. Could also fit fishing poles up here, tackle, whatever you might wanna do. And then over here, you'll note that if you do have humans up here, they tend to have cell phones and iPads and all that stuff. So they've got a nice little cubby where they can keep everything. And I love, once again, these pockets that they've created so that you don't knock into stuff and unplug your phone while you're sleeping. I know it sounds like a really small deal, but I mean, if you had had a 110 outlet right here, for instance, and someone knocks their pillow up against it, all of a sudden you've got a kid with no iPhone in the middle of the day. And we all know that that could be like a heart stopping emergency that could completely get the world from stop, to stop turning. And no, I'm just kidding. 
take your phones away from your kids when you're camping. Uh, but no, seriously, they like to take pictures. They want to, you know, do their hiking apps, all those things. So it is nice that they can get all of their devices charged while they're sleeping at night. Now, above here, you'll note, we've got this great storage area. Now, if you were looking at a lot of the other Renegades uh, in this segment, you'll note that most of them have a TV here above the door. So again, I really, really like this VRB layout because as you can see, just by panning down here, you've got this really nice open living space where you have your television here. Someone could be sitting here watching a movie. You could have someone sitting here. Some, you'd have two or three people at least sitting on the couch. Really, really comfortable. And then in, on, the, on the same time, you can also have all of your chips and dip out here. You could have all of your, you know, refreshments and all of your, you know, uh, I don't know, snacks, whatever it is that you like um, in this big kitchen area. And you also have a really huge stainless steel undermount sink in this area. Now, remember, we used to do uh, a different type of sink uh, that was more of like a ceramic coat. So I love that they've gone to this really simple to clean stainless steel. But when you put these covers on top of the sink, this area becomes really, really huge. Now, I know we talked earlier about that phone app. This is the Vega Touch Mira app. This is what you would use to be able to control your coach. And it's got some really, really nice features. So as I was mentioning earlier, when I wanted to put the awning out for the uh, for our beauty shot, I just use the phone and I can also, like I said, go through here and I can control everything in my coach. I can control all my lights. I can look at my black water. I can look at all of my charging systems. I mean, there's just so much functionality in this, uh, in this app that you can really control pretty much everything, even down to your leveling jacks. Uh, so, I mean, this is just a very, very cool feature. Uh, again, that's the Vega Touch. And then over here on the right, you'll see we have this true induction cooktop. I love this new oatmeal colored uh, backsplash with, you know, the herringbone tile inlay. This is all real tile. As I mentioned earlier, one of the things that Renegade has done really well with this coach is they've been able to true out a lot of the extra weight in this RV by using like a nice laminate floor, but they're still giving you that really classy touch of all of the tile that you have in your kitchen, these beautiful solid maple cabinets. Look at all of the storage space you have up here. So tons and tons of storage space. And again, hydronic, hydronic heat, no propane on this coach. Um, another great large area where you could keep big stuff up here. So if you've got any of those spaghetti pots and maybe you wanna stack all of your pots and pans, you could very easily do that. And then up here, because we've got our TV off to the right, we also have all of our telematics up top, easy to get to. Now, as you do want to note here, we've got this nice soft touch uh, ceiling as well as ventilation throughout the entire coach. But keep in mind, you're still going to have things like your hydraulic heat plates coming into the coach where you're going to get all of your heat uh, centrally ducted through the coach. And so you'll have plenty of warmth. Um, now, another feature I really like about the Renegade Verona is they actually, I think 21 took the handles off of this refrigerator, but they kept with these locks. So red means it's closed, blue means it's open. If I'm looking down the, down, if I'm looking to go down the road and I wanna make sure that my daughter has locked the refrigerator, it's just as simple as looking at whether or not it's locked, as opposed to having a fancy, uh, my superstars are really fancy, like little uh, hidden handle. And the only way to tell whether or not it's actually open is to go pull on the door, where this one's very, very easy. Uh, lots of space in here. It's definitely not the most sophisticated layout you can have in the refrigerator, but I'll tell you what, this is a very, very nice layout because anything that you get when you're going to Costco, if you've got those big boxes, you know, large crates of eggs, uh, big jugs of milk, all of those things, big things of butter, everything will fit in your refrigerator very easily. And then what we found we like to do is we have, um, like little uh, Tupperware containers, and they all fit side by side. So if we get our berries, we can separate everything, and create little stackable shelves in there. And because it's a uniform space, they all fit right next to each other, nice and snug. So if I go skittering to a stop down the road, all of my stuff when I come into the refrigerator isn't toppled all over the place. It's all still nice and neatly organized. So I think that that's great. Um, now, I know we talked a little bit about this, the Samsung soundbar. One of the things that's really nice about this soundbar, though, is it's got this cool digital display. So when you actually link it up, you can tell it's connected. 
and you can have your kids or yourself, whomever it is that's running uh, the sound system, can uh, be the DJ, if you will, and you've got sound that's right in the middle of the coach, so nice location for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these covers back on so you can see um, how much room you have when you cover your induction cooktop. Now keep in mind that induction cooktop is gonna be huge for you because uh, you're gonna be able to cook at any altitude with the same exact heat. It's gonna be using um, induction as opposed to propane, which means no matter what your oxygen content is and your altitude, you're gonna get that same performance. Uh, we've had this high point microwave oven for as long as I can remember. I know I had it when I had my 2020 Verona. Um, it's a great microwave. I think the reason that we don't change them out is because they work really well. You also have a second, uh, point, uh, the second point of contact here. Again, this is the same app that we just covered that you can, co you can do all of the different things in the bedroom as you can do here in the center. So it doesn't matter where you are in the coach, you've got access to all of your telematics if you don't have your phone. Huge drawer space down here. Again, this is a benefit of the VRB because of the fact that it does not have um, any kind of control panel here in the kitchen. It's all been moved to the center of the coach. And as you can see, there's so much room in this kitchen. It's really quite impressive. Um, and then this is one of the few coaches that you'll find in the marketplace where you can get a full size trash can. And I know that that sounds silly, but it's actually a huge benefit. Um, I would use this one inside. I get a blue one for recycling. And then I'd put a black one in here too, all the same size stacked inside of each other. So that when you get to your next destination, you just pull them out. You've got one, the black ones of course for outside, the blue ones for recycling, and then the silver one stays inside. So you know what goes where. And then this is a cool thing that came out with last year. So this fits right in the sink. Um, this is a great feature, a really nice cutting board, as well as a towel rack. It's right inside here. Renegade has done such a good job at not only uh, staying consistent with quality, but actually improving. Um, oops, I'm still locked. Um, as they've gone through the years. So here's your pull-out pantry. Really nice pantry space here. As I said before, ton of room in this coach. And then again, one of the nice features that you have is you just know that you're locked or you're not locked. And if you take this little end here and slide it in here, this becomes a... Oh, maybe not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing wrong? Duh, I don't have the thing out. There we go. Nice little spot here for you to have your kitchen island. There we go. So how cool is that? Very, very nifty. I think I'm upside down. Yep. Sorry, someone just told me about this over the weekend. I had never known that this actually worked this way. Um, I always thought it was just to put it in the sink. Uh, but there you go. What a cool feature. Uh, this is something that I have in my Superstar. And just to keep your, again, chips and dip, guacamole, all that stuff, or a little bit of extra cutting space while you're cooking. Very, very nice feature uh, on this coach as well. And then um, as you can see here, we have a curtain that comes up and it follows this track the whole way around. So you can keep it nice and uh, dark inside of this coach. So if you do have people sleeping in this front, you've got a nice built-in track. Another feature I think was really nice is that when they did redesign this M2106 Plus chassis for us, Renegade went ahead and kept the cover off of the place where you would put your CB. We used to have to go into them and remove them. It was really kind of complicated. This is a great place for you to attach your CB. They've got really nice carpeted over uh, pocket storage. Still have your air horn. Um, as you can see, I also have my air ride seats turned around so you can just see that you can turn both of these around so that all the people in the front can join the party. And then up here in the dash, you'll see a lot of the differences for the M2106 Plus chassis. So one of the things I wasn't thrilled about was the fact that they moved all these buttons over here. But it's cool that they put your equalizer leveling system here as opposed to the cabinet overhead or next to the door. So this is actually a great place for it. In order to run this, you have to have the ignition set to on. Um, and you can hear, you hear it beeping. It's because I got my jacks deployed right now. Um, but because you're operating this in sync with your ignition, it's actually really nice to be able to do this 
um, to be sitting here and to have it integrated is to where you're actually sitting in the coach. Uh, now your Garmin uh, is still going to have your rear view backup camera, your left and right camera. I'm going to close this window. <laughs> it's so nice here, by the way, today. Uh, we're, this is uh, the day before spring here in sunny Colorado. Uh, spring starts tomorrow, which is why I'm wearing my little Coca Pelli uh, necklace and such. But um, as you can see, really nice rear camera, side camera. Everything's here in your Garmin display. Of course, uh, you've got your um, grid map, so this is going to tell you where you should park, how close you should be to someone behind you. Um, but yeah, just nice, nice setup here. Uh, like I said, though, I really do like that they've moved everything over and given you a place to put the equalizer system in. You'll still have your uh, suspension dump, so if you're trying to load your, your uh, trailer onto your coach, it's a little bit easier. Uh, you've got your rear diff walk. Of course, that's for slippery situations. Um, you also have your, uh, your uh, engine override. Uh, you have your lane tracking package on and off. Um, so all of these little buttons, you know, your footwell lights, your overhead lights, your cab lights, your hazard lights are easy to find now. So all of these little buttons used to be spread out throughout the entire dash. Um, and then in the, in the Renegade, they have a transmission uh, temperature gauge, which is really important for those of you who have ever gone down a steep hill. It's nice to know what your temperature on your transmission is. Of course, if you get up too high, um, you can void your warranty with your Allison transmission, so that's really important. Um, we also have a really handy ashtray for those of us who are still smoking, so I don't know. That's kind of cool, I guess, but you could take it out if you don't need it. Use it for a cup holder. Um, another great feature the stock control for your transmission. So no longer do you have those weird Allison buttons on your dash. You've got a nice stock control. Your engine brake is 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 right here on your stock. Uh, so that's a great feature. Another M2106 Plus feature that is very different is that you can answer your phone, hang up your phone, control your, uh, your, um, your radio, control your navigation, uh, look through all of your menu items all here in your center dash very easily without having to reach over. So that's great. And then if you have somebody who would like to be your input person, they can actually remove this um, and put their, your data in there and then put it back on there so you've got your integrated navigational control. Um, also, you'll see that your turn signals and your windshield washers are all integrated onto two stocks. So you've got stock here, stock here, that's it. Everything is really simple. Automatic headlights, great feature, nice upgrade. Um, this coach also has a standard um, integrated tire, pressuring, tire pressure monitors power mirrors, heated mirrors, power windows, power locks. Um, as you can see, it's already wired for the CB. Um, so just, like I said, really cool feature. And then very easily adjustable telescopic steering column. So lots of, lots of maneuverability here. Um, overall, pretty solid improvement over the previous generation. And then as I mentioned, you're your Wabco system is now integrated here into the Detroit Assurance package. So you're still gonna have that same uh, distance-based cruise control that you had last year's model, but now it's integrated into this coach. It's not something that Renegade has to offer or has to add. It's actually all integrated into this chassis. Um, another difference in this chassis, they made a modular so that you can plug and play different things in different places without having to have as much advanced wiring, dragging things from one corner to the other. You really won't notice a difference as a consumer, but from a construction standpoint, it's much easier for Renegade to assemble these coaches, which is always a positive. Uh, now you will still have your step. I know a lot of people are concerned about this step. Uh, honestly, they think that this coach has got some of the best walking room available. Um, I wanted to show you how those, uh, how that bed tucks into that rear bedroom. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh, Jody's pointing at the, da at the, Jody, why do we have to show people the dining room table? Okay, <laughs> the reason we have to show people the dining room table is, again, two seat belts, as we talked about earlier, um, which is nice. But more importantly, this, uh, this dining room table setup is super generous in terms of the space. And then one of my favorite features that we only had had previously on the LE model is the cup holder here. Also, a phone holder. So you've got a place where you can plug your phone in, little place to stow it. You've got your uh, USB and Type-C cord uh, ports there as well, and a place to put your cups. So that's super nice. Okay, now, um, 
it's also big. This is a big table and this drops down and turns into a bed. So as I said, bed there, bed here, bed there, bed back there. All the people can come on your camping trip or just tell them not to watch this video so they don't know that it seats so many people. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these slides in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. We're gonna confirm this. We're gonna go, we're on awnings right now. We're gonna go to slides, front slide and rear slide. We're gonna go ahead and hit retract. And when we do that, it's gonna start pulling the slide in. Now, why is this handy? The reason that this is handy is if you get to your campground and it's late at night and you've got kids that are sleeping and you wanna just get your jacks down, you wanna get your coach set up, you wanna to get to camping and you don't wanna to have to fiddle faddle with having someone out there telling you how far you can open your slide, you can take your phone and go out there yourself and make sure you're not gonna run into a tree. So really, really nice feature of this coach. The other reason it's handy is because, okay, Let's say that, you know, you're just getting ready to go. Oh, this is a, this is a very fast new slide. This is a huge improvement over my old one, by the way. Uh, we started doing this last year, so it's not new, but it's cool. Um, but no, it's just nice to be able, like literally, like I could pull my jacks, get my slides in, get everything everyone up and running without even going outside and just taking off. I mean, this is a great feature of this coach. Um, so really, really like the flexibility that you have uh, with having your phone app in this coach, also having your front and, and, and rear control panels so that you've got easy access. Um, it's just a really, really nice feature, but take a look at that walking room. This is such an amazing amount of space. So as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to show you this. When you get back into this back bedroom, you don't have access to um, the rear bath unless you do the military crawl or those drawers, but you can do all of your laundry, put everything there on top of the bed, get everything nice and organized. And then when you get to your next camping destination, open up your slides, put everything away, call it a day. Um, oh, another great feature. I love this. Let's go ahead and pop this up. Hit lights, all off. How's that? Bam, super simple. Turn the coach off, get ready for bed, everybody. Get in bed. Um, as you can see, we have all of these opening and closing uh, screens as well. So these uh, really nice day and night shades. And I didn't show underneath here, um, but as you can see, you've got tons of storage here underneath. I wonder if I can get this out with this closed. Do you think I can? I can, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not getting to get it back in without it closed. But that's how much room you have underneath there. That's a lot of storage underneath your booth. Um, so that's where I keep all my dishes. I know that that sounds silly, but when we're making breakfast and someone's standing over there making food, it's much easier to set the table from over here. Okay, so major plus side of a Renegade. They have these like little spots here underneath these stairs where you can put all of your slippers. Downside is there's no cover here. Um, I've got a really cool template I can give you. It's very easy to make a cover. Plus side, very easy battery disconnect for the house right here. Downside, e-start. So if you want to use a battery boost to turn over, to use your house batteries to start your chassis, someone has to hold this button down or you need tape. Um, entry step override is also much easier here. In my Superstar, it's above the door, which makes no sense. It's great here. And then very easy access to your uh, fire extinguisher as well. Nice handle here going in and out. Another plus side that's an improvement from when I owned my Renegade in 2020. This window covering, again, keeping everything nice and dark if you do have people camping. Um, I also like the fact that they have a nice kick plate down here so it's not, it's not a screen all the way through. This part of the door that gets a lot of traffic is gonna be a little more resilient. And then as you can see, another huge plus side for Renegade. I love these step covers. Um, I wish that everybody used this. This is a really nice way to keep your step covers uh, from getting marked up. And it's also very grippy, very easy to get into. And then as you can see here, I've got my air ride seat up on this side. I'll show you what it looks like down on the other side, but very easy to get into reflectors when you open the doors, uh, nice places to grab onto, to get in on your way in. There's handles everywhere. Renegade does, a, or not Renegade, uh, Freightliner does a really good job at making an easy entry cab. Uh, you do have a 100 gallon fuel tank. They are saddle tanks. This is the right hand side saddle tank. Um, and again, 100 gallons of fuel. Uh, this is not a good way to have your coach sit. So if you can put your clip cord under your coach, you should probably uh, get some blocks and put it underneath here. This is not how you would want to go camping. 
Uh, Renegade is a manufacturer that recommends that you have your coach leveled before you put your slides in and out, which I think is really interesting. Um, but you would not want to have your, I uh, had someone who wrote in like, are you supposed to do that? And I was like, oh no, I should probably mention that in the video. You should not leave your coach like this when you're camping full time. For the, for the purpose of today's video, it's actually kind of fun. But in a, in a real life situation, you'd rather not do that. Uh, windshield washer, fluid, really easy to get to. Big air filter, easy to get to. Wabco um, air dryer, easy to get to. Everything's easy to get to on a Super C chassis. This is one of the reasons people like them. Uh, here is your uh, side camera for when you're turning right. You'll also see that this bumper is three piece. Um, Freightliner is really into the fact that these are a lower repair cost. If you do have a little oopsie, not a lot of repairs to do. And then as you can see here, uh, we have a really cool fog lamp package that integrates here into the bumper. You've got your Wabco system down here next to your fog lights, so you cannot use this bottom area. Uh, but we've already actually done an M2106 Plus chassis fog light integration kit, so that's something you're interested in. Give me a call, I'd be happy to price that out for you. Um, but overall, really cool, uh, really cool front end. Uh, this is a really, this is a repulsion exterior paint. Propulsion's really pretty. Lots of silvers and dark grays. It looks really nice, especially with these high polished uh, Alcoa rims. Uh, we do of course have Amish racing wheels that you could add to this coach. Um, in terms of your storage outside, I think Renegade made a huge play when they did this. These are uh, not walled. So in other words, there is no barrier between one bay into the next, giving you a lot more flexibility. Um, another nice feature of that means that you can actually access um, outside from inside and run a cord through here. So if you do have, I don't know, maybe your blenders in there, whatever it is, and you need to run power in there, very easy to get to. Um, also, you've got your exterior TV. Again, a really nice Samsung, nice sound bar. Um, there's also a little place down here to uh, charge everything. So you got your USB chargers. And I can reach this one, Jody. It's pretty awesome. Lock that up. And then there's two 110 outlets up here. So like I said, if you want to run your blender out through that bottom bay, or even just, I don't know, like plug in a pump for your, uh, your uh, you know, air compressor for your paddle boards, anything along those lines. That air line, of course, goes to the air connect. You can air up all the tires. Um, off of this coach and then again more storage compartments this was a nice deep bay and then as you can see there's two latches on the left here so you have a double lock uh, so Renegade does a really good job with that these are very durable RVs oh and I can turn my generator off because I don't think I need to have that on right now let me just go to my candy dandy little app, go to my power setting, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop generator. There we go, nice and quiet. How cool is that? Start your generator from your phone, start your generator from your coach, start your generator from your generator. Um, again, nice deep storage here. Great place to put some of those longer, um, you know, lounge chairs, if you will, as opposed to just your regular little uh, beach chairs. And then another great storage bay, once again. So this, this coach is 40 feet, 10 inches long. Um, this is a really, really nice, uh, really, really nice length of a coach. A 309 inch wheelbase. Again, 20,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, you're already uh, pre-wired for your Voyager system as well as your seven pin connector. The reversible ball hitch comes here. Another thing that Renegade gives you is a 15 amp adapter for your, uh, or 30 amp adapter for your 50 amp plug. So if you need to, plug into 30 amp you can. There's your rear view camera. And then your power cord is on a power reel. Now this is only 36 feet long, but what's nice about it is it's right here in the back. My coach has a 50 foot power cord, but it's 20 feet forward in the front of the cat. So, I mean, six of one, half dozen of the other. Really easy access. Here's that eight kilowatt uh, quiet diesel generator. Also, you've got a gravity hose storage compartment right here on the right-hand side. Uh, one of the reasons that is, is Renegade does make a smaller water bay, but they do some cool stuff. 
So as you can see, all of your labeling is etched into this water bay. And we're now using our sea level tankless watering system or monitoring system. So these tank monitors are much more accurate than they were when I had my 2020. Um, you also can see we've got a water hose here. You've got your black tank wash right here. You've got your cable access. Uh, you've got your low point drain. I mean, everything is right here in this bay and it is a small area, um, and which is why they put that gravity hose, hose holder back there. Um, but in all honesty, I think I would probably just keep my gravity hose in here. This is probably where I would store everything. And there's your black water access point, gray water as well. And these are your black and gray water tanks. And those do have 110 uh, heat pads on them. And again, that water bay is thermostatically controlled and it's being heated by the Aqua Hot 250D. Uh, this is gonna be your hydronic fluid holder. If this gets down below the cold level, you will not have hot water or heat. So it's really important for you to remember to go ahead and have a bottle or a gallon of that hot of that Aqua Hot juice uh, when you're camping. If you buy a coach from me and you say that you've watched this video, I will give you a free gallon of Aqua Hot juice. Um, also hot water access point, which is nice. Another great storage compartment. And then both your house and chassis batteries up here in front. Uh, this does not have the lithium ion uh, upgrade. Uh, honestly, lithium is finicky. These are really inexpensive to replace. You don't have to worry about your warranty on them. Uh, you know, four or five years is as long as they'll probably last. Uh, but they're really inexpensive to replace. And if you want to put a lithium battery in after the fact, you're more than welcome to. But these don't uh, get too cold or too hot to function. Um, that's a nice feature in this coach. If you find your lithium package gets below 10% of its battery charged in order to self-preserve or keep itself from damaging it, uh, it will just turn off your entire coach. That's not what you're gonna have to deal with when you have these more simplistic batteries. Um, I have lead acid batteries in my Superstar and I would have it no other way. Um, here's your def, uh, def, def capacity um, and then also your other um, def capacity def filling station as well as your other saddle tank access point. Um, you can fill one of these tanks at a time. It would take a really long time. The best thing you can do is pull into a truck stop, fill up your tanks simultaneously, add your def and get on the road. Uh, for those of you who don't know why you have something to heat your engine, the block heater is because if you turn this coach on when it's cold and you uh, trip the fault on your dash, uh, they'll go ahead and reset it for you to the tune of like 150 bucks. So it's a good idea to make sure your coach is nice and warm and primed before you start it. Again, I told you I would show you this seat all the way down versus up. And this is where we have our air. So nice and easy to access. Drop that down. Again, this is how I was adjusting that uh, steering column earlier. As you can see, we've got a little diagnostic port right here now. Again, this M2106 Plus chassis is a uh, long-awaited Renegade and uh, Numar are both using this new this new chassis now, and it's awesome. It's a really cool, uh, really cool upgrade. They waited a long time to get it done. Now this coach is going to be uh, just as um, just as advanced as your nicer cars. Uh, you've got your jump points over here for your battery underneath. Again, your fuel filter and water separator, easy access points. As you can see, beautiful marriage of this Cummins L9. This is 1,150 foot-pounds of torque, married to your Freightliner chassis. Your, Cum your Cummins is gonna be all red. Your chassis, of course, all black. You've got your classic spring leaf suspension up here as well. Um, but overall, very easy to access, easy to work on. Great coach, uh, really, really sexy, nice look. Um, and again, bass and a half model, 40 foot. This coach definitely um, has a lot of functionality. It would be a lot of fun to take out on the road and camping with a 20,000 pound towing capacity. You can bring all the toys too. Uh, my name again is, oh wait, before we get to that, let's talk about this stock number. This is stock number 5N230321. Again, 5N230321. This is the last uh, 2024 uh, Renegade Verona that I will have in stock. We just sold our 36 VSB on Saturday. 
Uh, so this is my last 2024 I'll have for this year. We'll start seeing 2025s coming in next. Uh, we've already got a lot of deposits in place. So if you are looking to special order, we are happy to accommodate. But if you want to buy this coach now, it's available for sale. Uh, please reach out, get in touch with me at 303-562-8659. My name is Katie O'Neill. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today and allowing me to walk you through this beautiful coach. Let me know how I can get you on the road and camping.